Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Codis Arcade. Today we have an interesting topic lined up for you. We will be exploring the differences between structures and unions in programming. These are the fundamental concepts in languages like C and C++. Before starting this video, I would like to request all of you to please like and share our videos with your friends and family because guys, to be honest, we feel motivated when you really like our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please show us the love so that we can create more content for you like this. Okay. And thanks a lot for your support that you have shown till now. And I hope you'll be supporting us more and more in future. Okay. So without any more ado, let's get started. As I said, we'll be learning about structures and unions and their differences. Okay. So guys, honestly speaking, most of the engineering colleges don't teach us real difference between structures and unions. And today I am going to unfold this myth for you. Okay. So stay tuned with me in this video and I am guaranteeing you, you'll be really liking this video. Okay. So talking about structures and unions, these are fundamental concepts in languages like C and C++. Okay, so if you are a programmer or just someone interested in learning about data types, you are in right place. So let's dive in. So let me open a slide for you. Guys, the slide that you see in front of you, this is what engineering colleges teach you most of the times. They teach you the data types in C or C++. More or less they are similar, but C++ will have the object oriented concepts like classes and objects and so and so on. Okay. So if you see here, we have the primary data types, we have void, we have enum, the enumerated ones, and then the derived. In derived, you can see that we have our structure here and then the union here. Okay, guys, most of the engineering colleges will not teach you the real difference between structure and union. I don't know what's wrong with them because this is very frequently asked in the interviews. And I have been to many engineering colleges for placement trainings. Okay, I don't want to uh, give any particular name of any college, but I have been to many engineering colleges for placement trainings. And I really don't understand why the faculties don't teach this simple concept there in the colleges. Because this is a very must and should learn concept for interviews. For placements, it is very important to know the difference between structure and union. Okay, so today I will be really unfolding the mysteries and I will be really dealing with the proper difference between structure and union in C and C++. Okay, so for the time being, we understand that structures and unions are derived data types. Okay, so let's dig deep and try to understand more about structures and unions. Okay, so first of all, I will show you a slide which shows you the difference between structures and unions. As you can see here, uh, structures allocate memory separately for each member. Okay. And unions, as you can see, allocate a single block of memory that is shared by all members. Okay. And talking about the memory uses, then structures is useful when you actually want to store and access multiple pieces of information simultaneously. In case of union, unions are useful when you want to store different types of data in the same memory space and only access one member at a time. Okay, so this is the thing that you actually know about structures. Then what is new in this? There's nothing new in this. I hope you already know about this, right? In structures, we access multiple memory locations or data members at a time. But in union, we can only access one at a time. That's what we already have learned, right? We have learned that in colleges. But what's new in this? The catch here is that I will tell you. Let's again talk about the definition of structures. Okay, so we just know that Structures are used to group different data types under a single name. Each piece of data has its own memory location. So that helps structures for storing multiple types of data in one place. Okay, so that's why you can see this here. Structures allocate separate memory for each member. Okay, in the same way, if you talk about unions, unions are another way to group different types of data. But here is a twist. All members of a union share the same memory location. Okay, that means a union variable will occupy only as much memory as its largest member. Okay, so I will tell you what it really means. Okay, let us do one thing. Let us take a simple example, then we can understand better about it. Okay, so I'm going to my board and here I will just show you a simple example. Okay, as we already know that structures and unions actually behave in almost the same way, right? Say I'm taking an example called person. Okay, and the person can have different attributes, say the name of the person, 
and see the age of the person and say I'm seeing the income of that person okay just for example okay and similarly we can also declare a person as a union where I will have the name of that person I will have the same age and I will have the income okay but here in both the cases let's do one thing let's go to our ID and try to recreate this thing with the help of a code okay so I'm going to my ID and here let's create a struct called person and what I will do is I will simply say name and let me give it a size of 20 okay then I will just say int age and then I will say income okay just for example okay now let's create the variable of the structure now so I will just say struct person p okay now I will simply assign the variable some values so for that let me do one thing you can already know that if I use p dot we can access the properties by using the dot you can see I'm getting name age and income so what I will do I will just say name of is equal to say I will write my name only okay but you can see I'm getting an error so we cannot store string into this like that okay so for that I can use the string library something like this hash include string dot h I'm using the string library now I have a str copy function which I will be using now so first it takes the destination my destination is p dot name okay and then I need the value okay I will say sort of my name got it okay then after that let's take p dot age equal to say 30 and say p dot income is equal to say 25k just for example okay now let us print them print f and let's run this and check okay you can see name is Saurabh age is 30 income is 25,000 so it's working absolutely fine and now let's also check the size okay so I'll just say print f let me give a slash and to go to the next line and just say I will say size of sizes comma I will use the size of function and say p and guys you can see I'm getting a warning so let me give the format specifier also say person d and let's see the size the size should be 20 plus 4 plus 4 integers have 4 bytes 4 bytes so this should be 28 let's run this and check if this is correct or not yeah let me see it is 28 okay so if you remember from the explanation the size of a structure is the size of all the individual members added together that is 20 plus 4 plus 4 character single character is 1 byte so 20 bytes plus 4 plus 4 and to be precise let me tell you one more trick the correct format specifier for size of function is llu unsigned long long okay or long long unsigned please don't use person d for size of function okay so this is the proper one now let's see here what we get see guys we are getting the same thing okay now similarly as we saw even for a union it behaves the same way right we can also do that but the main difference between union is let's write union here and here also let's write union now let's try to run this and see what we get guys you can see the magic right income is 25,000 age is 25,000 and 
see the name and see the size is okay the largest data type okay union at a point only the one so largest data type will have the total size of the union which is 1 into 20 20 bytes but what is happening here guys so why am i not able to access the data here what is wrong here if you see again if i run this i'm getting something like this name is not coming age is 25000 income is also 25000 so the last one is getting here see this is the current one that is visible right now so if i go to my whiteboard again and try to explain you the same thing just try to understand okay so here see name is the variable one or the value one this is value two this is value three and for this one this is value one this is value two this is value three fine so what is happening here the size is v1 plus v2 plus v3 we got it as 28 here the size is only 20 that is coming from the name 20 bytes right okay so you understood this but if you try to understand one more thing for the structure v1 v2 v3 they are actually allocated separate memories but for the union v1 v2 v3 they are allocated the same memory that is the main problem so what happens here is that when we try to access v1 we will get that but as soon as we assign some other value that is gone okay so again if you assign this value the earlier two values are gone actually so at a point of time this can only hold one value is that clear so that's why we are not getting the answer okay so just remember this rule guys this is a very important interview question for union you have to if you want to display the values you have to use this rule as soon as you assign the value you have to display the value so please guys you remember this very important point okay for a structure it is okay if you display the values all together at a time because they are allocated separate memories but for union they have only one memory so assign I'm sorry the spelling is wrong so let me just correct it so assign and display so as soon as you assign a value you have to display that value okay because as soon as you assign a new value the earlier value is erased or deleted okay so because at a time only one value can be allocated the memory that is the most important thing about unions okay is that clear guys so let us find the solution for that so what you can do is let me just remove all of them from here so in case of the union what do you do you assign and you display then and there itself same thing you assign the age you display after that line only same thing you do in all the cases okay so this will become age and let's say this becomes percentage d and this will become income and this becomes percent d and this becomes income and the first one this becomes age okay now see here what i have done the name was assigned i displayed the name the age was assigned i displayed the age the income is assigned i display the income and after that the size is okay you know that right let's run this see guys we have name age income and then the size is 20 20 why why it is 20 it is 20 because of this the largest data type okay so if you want to again recap that you can just say that struct the sizes sum for the union the sizes largest okay please remember this guys this is very important and i don't know why this has not been taught in many of the engineering colleges 
okay now you have known about this and thank you and all the best for your interviews and there you have it the differences between structure and union in programming i hope this video helped you understand this concept better if you found this video informative please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more exciting programming content thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video bye bye and happy learning